Welcome to my next video about my collection. This time it's for Zelda series. The 25th anniversary in the December. No, it was in February. Uh, they produced also a Nintendo Mini Classic series from Zelda. Maybe it's very original to the Game & Watch series. Don't know it uh, because I uh, don't know the Game & Watch version of Zelda. Starting with the original series, of course, with the golden models from the NES series. This is the instant classic. You need Zelda. Well, it's not a question. Uh, Link's Adventure is a little bit different. Um, it's, a, it's an okay game and, and brings something new to the table. But I know where a lot of people who are thinking this is bullshit. It isn't crap. It is not crap, believe me. It's a it's a K game. It has some um, passages where not so well done and well fought, but it's a, it's an okay game. You need that if you are a Zelda fan. You need Zelda One and Zelda Two. There's no question. And the next thing, very famous, very good. Links a link to the past Zelda from the Super Nintendo. Very good game. Very great thing. Maybe one of the best of the series. If you don't know it, just play it. It's good. It's damn good. Believe me. And now coming to the N64 era. Maybe you ever heard of Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Considered as one of the best video games of all time. So if you don't play it, play the 3D version. It's a good game. Majora's Mask is a little bit different. It has a very small story mode, but very a lot of things very very optional. The graphics are better. I think it's more the adult version of Ocarina of Time, but I don't think it's it's better than Ocarina of Time. Maybe it's not better than the first Zelda, it's not better than Link to the Past. It's a good game, but not the best of a series. Ocarina of Time may be still the best of a series. Speaking of today, now we're coming to the GameCube era. Um, the Wind Waker is a little bit different. It has a very strange graphic style. Maybe I can show it. It's a little bit more comic. Uh, it's a very good game. It has a very nice graphics, but the comic style is very, very awkward. Uh, so I have to. It, I, I, won, I wasn't very keen with this title at the start. Um, at the end, I, I think it was good. It was very good, but uh, it's not my favorite Zelda. It's okay. It's it's very decent. Has nice ideas. It's something new, but it's not <laughs> typical for the series. So it's a little bit different. Speaking of different, now we're coming to this thing: Twilight Princess. And in the combination with crossbow training. Twilight Princess is not new. It's not my favorite Zelda. It's really boring. Uh, I don't like the wolf part. And I don't think it brings something new. It is a remake of Ocarina Time again. It, this is the main problem of the series. So it's not my favorite Zelda. And speaking of the current generation, Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword uh, brings something new, um, but I'm still thinking maybe is this better? I think it's not uh, the greatest thing on the series, it's not the 25th uh, greatest shot, no, it's not the typical masterpiece. It's a little bit boring from the graphics uh, to the Wii standards, maybe we have some pictures on the backside. So this is Zelda, and uh, Zelda looks even more awful than in the CDI games. I don't know what's the right track. Um, with these nice things, I have two um, GBA games: the Adventure of Link, Zelda 2, and the very good uh, Minish Cap. I don't own. Um, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, uh, Link's Awakening, I know we're absolutely decent and I don't own, if you want to give them, I take them, the CDI versions um, that Nintendo has forgotten, but we aren't. We know we exist. So, this was the little 
my collection about Zelda and Link and the other idiots. Um, next week more stuff. <laughs>